Hello everyone. Today you will see the very small and beautiful village of Summer Leighton in England. Although today Hall and Gardens may look classic and historic, there is a wealth of hidden history as the Summer Leighton estate has been home to powerful figures for almost 900 years. Free Elf was unceremoniously driven from his possessions in 1068. When the Conqueror granted land titles to his loyal masters, in this case Sir Peter Fitzisbert, Sir Peter married Isabella Jernigan, a famous Danish family who had been warlords of King Canute hundreds of years before and began the first long dynasty in Summer Leighton. The Jernigans built a beautiful early Tudor home and were lords of Summer Leighton until the accession of Elizabeth I in 1533. They were Catholics and, sensing the tides against them, emigrated to America. It is unclear if John went on the grand tour himself, but he worked for the Duke of Norfolk and was influenced by the Duke of Norfolk and began a major renovation of the Summer Leighton estate. He did it in a big way, building a beautiful jack of the mansion with duck gables, stables and, most impressively, delightful gardens, much more elaborate than those we see today. Summer Leighton is also home to one of Britain's most beautiful yew hedge mazes, planted in 1846. We move on to another historic site in Summer Leighton as the St. Mary's Parish Church. Located on Blunston Road, Summer Leighton, Suffolk NR325PR. Our Lady's Church stands a mile away that it served on the grounds of Summerley Hall. The church was built in the 15th century and completely rebuilt in 1854 by Samuel Morton Pito. Pito used the architect John Thomas from London. Thomas found the church almost homo, but managed to USB the presbytery and tower. However, he had to completely rebuild the nave, but it must be admitted that it fits together very well, everything for everyone, independently of each other. The top bidder of the best of these treasures is the 15th century screen, the best kept reserve and one of Suffolk's finest. The base is divided into panels, with tracery arches housing 16 painted figures of saints, including the English saints Edmund, Edward the Confessor, and Thomas of Canterbury. There are paintings on St. George and St. Michael slaying dragons. There are six bells in the belfry, three of which were cast in Norwich in the 15th century, the rest were added in the 18th and 19th centuries. The church is open daily from April to November. This is ruin of the Belgian kiln used for making bricks for the Summer Leighton Brick Company from about 1900. You can still make out its elliptical shape from the concrete surround. Summer Leighton Brick Files were famous for the quality of their bricks from the beginning about 1780. until they closed in 1939. Some notable buildings containing summer latent bricks are York and Liverpool Street railway stations and a Belgian royal places. I invite you to the last stop before the end of the movie, namely, Summer Leighton Reach, the Summer Leighton Swing Bridge will open to ships that cannot pass under it. Opening can be ordered on 12 VHF channels or by 3 along horn tones when most can be seen. 
Most of the summer ladens will be swayed on the job as one red flag flutters over the control box. If two red flags are fluttering, it doesn't work the most. Sometimes it may be up to 20 minutes before you start. On both sides there are berths or pontoons waiting for the bridge to open. Near the summer laden bridge to the Olten Dyke is in the children's exit zone. All repairs will be the basis for performing ski activities.